my mama even taking me saying, wow, I didn't know you could do that. So I said, mine, I know I can do that either. <laughs> kind of like Forrest Gump, you know, I, I was running, he just runs and, you know, he doesn't say much, all he does is runs. Luke Grimm, he's a magician when it comes to route running. Awesome crowd, man, that was, that was the loudest I've, I felt it was this year. I'll take them against anybody in the country. We couldn't let Missouri beat us twice. We got about 24 hours or so to enjoy this, and we, we better get moving because it, it, it's a huge test next week. K Nation, sponsored by 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Tonight on K Nation, we're breaking down those big wins. Hear from the team, hear from the coaches, and we're talking to the people behind the scenes. Plus, your teammates become your best friends, but two KU volleyball players go way back. How their paths led to a reunion in Lawrence. And an interview you will not see anywhere else. Jerome Tang joins K Nation one on one to talk all things Wildcat men's basketball. Welcome to K Nation. I'm Lainey Gerber. And I'm Landon Reinhardt. Glenn was out covering the Chiefs game. And if you didn't yes. see, Coach Tang led the drum tradition pregame. But we go. we're back here. We are spoiled rotten, Lainey. Yeah, football this weekend was so much fun. A win in Lawrence, a good start in Manhattan. So we're going to start in Manhattan. Yeah, Cats <laughs> looking for a win after a tough loss a week prior. Will Howard, we didn't know if he'd get in the game. Injured against Mizzou. He gets the start. I was there for this one. First half. A little iffy, a lot of stuff to clean up, but the consistency the entire night, the rushing attack for the Cats. Howard passed when he needed to and did a good job at it, 27 of 42, 255 yards. But as a team on the ground, 281 yards, seven yards a carry. The start of the game, running back DJ Giddens, the Junction City product, 30 carries, 207 yards, four touchdowns, eight catches, 86 ah. yards receiving, 100% <laughs> reason to remember the name. Ooh. The easy name is DJ Giddens. We we challenged DJ. We said we were going to give you the football. Um, you needed to uh, step up. You have all the ability in the world. We've got to believe in you, and we're going to keep giving it to you. you know, I'm glad, you know, DJ got to show the world, you know, what it, what we've seen in practice at all times. And, you know, I love that kid to death. I ain't putting pressure on myself because, like I say, the coaches, they'll tell me, oh, we just be you, just do yourself. Don't put uh, undue pressure on you. Ain't no pressure on you. And just, just play free. And that helped me a lot this week. The defense showed out once it settled in. UCF is all about the trick plays. Coach Kleiman said if you would have given him the option to only give up one big play beforehand, he would have taken it. Mm -hmm. Only 143 yards rushing, only two trips to the red zone, two turnovers. We're staying local. Topeka's own Desmond Purnell Aiden, hi. has a day. Des Purnell was a dude today. Des Purnell was phenomenal. He got one of our players of the game. He was all over the place. He had the big strip. Um, he's incredibly hard to block. He's getting more and more comfortable. I think he's playing at an all-conference level. Tonight was just uh, all around just fun for, for the entire defense. We actually showed what the mob was like. I still believe that we still have a lot to improve on, but it's a good start. Just a sophomore after the game, everyone made sure to shout out the crowd. Mm -hmm. Home field caused three second half delay game penalties. That was huge. Will Howard said it was the loudest it's been this year. Clemens says he can't wait to be back in a month. In a month. In a month. It's a month until the next home game. Bye week next week, then a Friday night matchup at OSU. Man, that sounds mm -hmm. like a long time. <laughs> stop me if you've heard this before for the Jayhawks. First time since 1915. I'll stop you because I've heard it already. I'm Kansas is 4-0 in back-to-back years. They're ranked number 24 in the nation. Not a bad spot to be in. We knew this mm -hmm. team was good coming into the year. Tough schedule though. Didn't know if it could happen, but 4-0. So let's mm -hmm. get to it. In Lawrence, we typically talk offense first, but I think we need to start with the defense this Have week. Have to this week. BYU's first play in the Big 12. Oh. Meet Kobe Bryant. Hit stitch, fumble, and the touchdown. Heck of a way to start conference play for Wake both teams. Call. Yeah, Jayhawk defense led the nation in havoc coming into this week. That's interceptions, defended passes, sacks, tackles for loss. All the big plays yesterday. All about the havoc on defense. Two touchdowns, Woo. three sacks, Woo. a fumble recovery, Woo. and two picks. Woo. And only nine yards given up on the ground. Here's Kobe on that first big play. That hit was like kind of shocking because I never hit nobody that hard. So I was like, whoa, big time play, make big time plays. I think I suck a lot of people with that hit. So everybody kind of know now. I thought it was our, 
um, without really grading the film and everything, is our most physical and uh, playmaking uh, game by our secondary since since we've been here. And uh, to see them play that way was uh, was really fun to watch. Hurts to watch that play. Let's talk yeah. offense. This group always puts up numbers. It was the run game getting the Hawks into position to score, then the air game punching it in. Jalen Daniels, moderate 14 of 19 for 130 yards, but three touchdowns through the air. Mm -hmm. Team combines for 221 on the ground, but no scores. Luke Grimm gives Daniels and the O-line some credit. Daniels impressed with the defense. Not a lot of quarterbacks in football that can do it as good as he does. And just by you know keeping that play alive for three, four, five seconds can create six, seven yards of separation to where we can make someone miss, go score. The offensive line played amazing today, like they always do. The defense played lights out tonight. I mean, how well was that? Two, two defense touchdowns today? Stuff you can't make up for. It doesn't happen every single game. So, you know, uh, you know, I have all the faith in the world in our defense, and, you know, they stepped up tonight. Big win, 4-0. Perhaps the biggest challenge of the year is next week at number three, Texas. One's down. Some other scores. Number 17, KU Volleyball opens Big 12 play at Texas Tech. Red Raiders take the first match 3-2, but KU gets the sweep the next day. K-State, first match is a sweep, but the Cats stick with it for a 3-2 victory the next day. K-State soccer has a road trip to Oklahoma. Cats fall 2-0 to, to the Sooners and 2-0 to the Cowgirls. And Jayhawks soccer, longer road trip, 1-0 loss to Oklahoma State, then a 1-0 or 1-0 loss, yeah, to UCF. Well, this is my bestie right here, just <laughs> kind of. Anyway, my work bestie, maybe. And we all get our friends for a special reason. Well, I, I hated Lanny at first, Thank but, you. but now we're pretty tight. Reagan Cooper and Michaela Myers with KU Volleyball shared a similar path. Here's their story. Michaela Myers and Reagan Cooper grew up just 20 minutes apart, a short drive north of Dallas, Texas. The two first met on the club volleyball circuit, but weren't exactly friends yet. She kind of intimidated me at first, and so I was nervous <laughs> to meet her. As sophomores in high school, the two committed to Washington State. They became close, roommates at Wazoo. But it was a short stint. After their freshman year, Michaela transferred to TCU, Reagan at Texas Tech. It grew our friendship even more just because we weren't super far away, and we talked every single day. So. Like our friendship just continued to blossom. Michaela graduated with the Horn Frogs and decided to spend her fifth year at Kansas. Reagan completed her career at Texas Tech and decided to hang it up. At first, I wasn't going to take my fifth year after Tech, um, but then after she committed to Kansas, my attention was kind of drawn over here. All it took, a text from Bestie. Reagan, like, you have the, we have this opportunity. Like, why not just take it? Come on, like, it'll be so much fun. We get to live together again. So Reagan took her up on the offer. Now the duo is killing it and blocking it and bumping and setting it with a special bond they feel on the court. Looking at each other, I think it like makes us feel more comfortable. During big moments, having her beside me kind of brings me back to the present. Reagan says Michaela isn't intimidating anymore, but Michaela wouldn't mind striking fear into the opponent. I hope I do. Maybe maybe that's my secret weapon. I didn't know it. <laughs> Fun story. Stick around. We are talking with Coach Tang here in a bit. That's right. But first, it's time to appreciate the people behind the scenes. National Equipment Managers Appreciation Week just ended, but their work never I'm does. still appreciating them. That's right. And we're going to appreciate them more right after this break. Because McCray Plaza has been family owned and operated since 1975, we are able to make decisions that keep you independent and in the game. Get a game plan and join the winning team at McCray Plaza. Finding comfort in the familiar can be as easy as breakfast with the family at your favorite restaurant. At Lewis Toyota of Topeka, building lifelong memories is important. Helping drive you to your dreams, that's even bigger. Lewis Toyota is your local dealer now and for years to come. Protect your home from sudden power outages with a Generac Home Standby Generator. Installed by Shockwave Electric certified experts. Call Shockwave Electric for all your commercial and residential electrical services. Hi, this is voice of the Wildcats, Wyatt Thompson. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide or experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, 988 provides direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you will be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. For 24-7 non-judgmental support, just call, text, or chat 988. Sports! We have everything that you're looking for at Play Against Sports. 
New and used sports and fitness equipment with used up to 50% off retail. You can create your own discount by trading in and trading up. Sell us your gear and get cash on the spot or even get store credit. Play It Again Sports has something for every athlete, all seasons, all sports, on any budget. We're open every day in the Fairlawn Plaza Mall. Game on! Jungle House has moved, and we would love to show you around our new digs. Bring a new friend to school with you that will add life to your dorm room or apartment. We have plans for all. Find us at our new location, 6 East 7th Street, Lawrence, Kansas. Football games, practices, and just day-to-day -day operations would not be able to run smoothly without the equipment staff. This yeah. week, the nation is appreciating them. Yeah, it is National Equipment Managers Appreciation Week, but they really deserve that recognition every week. So mm -hmm. here's how K-State's <laughs> equipment staff keeps the CAT schedule running smooth. We, at some point, probably touch everyone that's within the football program, because at some point, everyone has a piece of gear on. K-State football's equipment staff manages thousands of pieces of equipment every day. To organize chaos, we have like our players and coaches have their storage bins where we store everything. I mean, like each shelf kind of has its own purpose. You see their work on game day, but it goes beyond those 60 minutes. Practice, we always say, is our number one priority. Everything from the chains to all the field equipment for individual to uh, making sure all the footballs are passed out, ready to go. And just about 15 people get it all done. We have a, a, a helmet tracker database that has profiles for everyone that, that we take care of. And so we print reports all the time. This is our packing list from everything that will go to the field down to locker room. So it's all divided by destination. Season prep starts in the off season and equipment is even evolving as the year goes on. Keeping an eye on the trends, I guess, just watching uh, NFL games and college games seeing what's popular because uh, guys will tend to go to that. From helping with drills to setting up field goal nets to bringing out all our sideline trunks, the headsets, and making sure all the jerseys are on pads, decaling helmets, touching them up, putting out their pants and their game cleats, their game loops, warm-up shirt that they wear for the period when they just hanging out outside. K-State equipment managers are the oil that keep the Wildcat football machine running fast and smooth. We dot our eyes and cross our T's with with many lists. They do a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, I could tell. <laughs> yeah. Stick around, a K-Nation staple is giving us the inside scoop. Jerome Tang sits down with our own Glenn Kinley one-on-one. -on -one. They talk about Tang's recruiting, the off-season, the preseason, and more. Don't go anywhere. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you build a foundation for your college career, like transferable credits offered in your high school, earning your high school diploma through GED completion on our campus, breakthrough to a new career. Manhattan Tech, providing higher education. Furnish is a boutique furniture and lifestyle store in the heart of downtown Manhattan. We are your local destination for all of those big city brands. Whether you need furniture, home decor, or a unique gift, we have what you're looking for. Mark made everything so easy, the accessibility to him, the knowledge that he had in being able to traverse through all of the loan paperwork, but also just the open communication that we had. He respected our time, he made it easy for us to get everything that we needed accomplished. Your hometown Fidelity Bank, we do business right here at home. West Side. Burnett Automotive. All tires, all brands, all services. Midwest Dream Car Collection. Big dreams, fast cars. Partner with Kansas Commercial Real Estate Services for an expert approach to commercial real estate. This is the low friends discover some new. Come home to West Loop and Manhattan's West Side. Manhattan Area Technical College will help you break through to a high paying career by empowering you in high demand fields. Let Manhattan Tech help you break through to a new career. Manhattan Area Technical College, providing higher education. 
Welcome back to K Nation. Now you might know Jerome Tang as the Chiefs drum honoree, but when he's not banging the drum at Arrowhead, he is a basketball coach. I'd say basketball more than anything. K Nation's <laughs> Glenn Kinley caught up with him earlier in this week to pick his mind ahead of basketball season. All right, Coach, thanks for your time. One thing that we've noticed in, in one year with you here at Kansas State is that you're never afraid to, to be different or, or be against the norm, you know, whether that's the speech after a win against KU or the speech to FAU after, after a tough loss that you guys had. I want to ask you this. Why is it that, that you've, you're okay with, with being different, I guess? Let's put it that way. Well, I, I'm not trying to be different. I just want to be myself. I'm just me. And if I try to do it the way everybody else does it, then... Um, it won't be the best version of me. You're pretty vocal about, about sharing your faith. Talk about why that's important, and, and I'm assuming that kind of relates to the answer you just gave me, that it's just part of who you are. Yeah, uh, you know, the foundation for who I am is my relationship with Jesus Christ, and where I'm at today is because of his blessing and favor on my life. And um, Christ was very clear in that if we would lift him up before men, he'll lift us up. And so, um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm thankful, so thankful to be here and I know who deserves the credit. Uh, the other part of that is that, you know, if I was to take the credit for it, then the responsibility to make it happen falls mm. on me. But if I give him all the honor right. and the glory, the responsibility for the outcome falls on him. I'd rather him have the responsibility yeah. than me. You're also really involved on campus. I think that's one thing that people like, the students specifically like. A lot of them have your phone number now, right? Yeah. Why is that so important to you? No, I have two kids on campus, and uh, uh, Ray and I, our son, Seven, is in his fourth year of college, uh, but he's a, a junior because of the transfer. Mm -hmm. And then my daughter's in her second year here at K-State, and uh, neither one of them are involved in athletics. And uh, I would hope that a staff, a faculty uh, member who would see him going by would, you know, impact their lives, maybe see if they're having a bad day and would take the time to put their arms around them. And, and so um, I pray that the small impact I have on our students uh, returns the blessing to my children. What would you say, not even to a coach, but to someone out there who says, hey man, we don't need all the other stuff. We don't need to hear about the faith. We don't need to hear about, uh, you know, whatever else it is, just coach basketball. Yeah, well, I'm not concerned about what they need. I'm concerned about what I have to do mm -hmm. and my calling and my purpose. I tell our guys all the time, and there's a lot of ways to get to four. And I won't stop anyone from getting to four the way they want to. Mm -hmm. Two plus two, two times two, three plus one. Mm -hmm. This is how I choose to get to four. I'm curious what you look for in a basketball player or in a, or in a, a person that you're recruiting. You've talked about not wanting always just the top ranked players or whatever, but finding guys who are the right fit. What does that look like for your program? Yeah, no, that's a great question. Um, the, number one is I like guys who smile, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, nobody wants to go to work every day with right. someone who has a frowny face. Mm -hmm. They just suck the air out of the gym. And, yeah. uh, it's like that in your office, I'm sure. You know, mm -hmm. we don't like moody guys. Uh, number two is like hard workers. And um, everyone says that they work hard. I, I want the guy who's top three hardest workers a coach has ever coached. Yeah. And that way I know they're addicted to the game of basketball. And, and then, you know, finally one guys who have won. And I like kids who have won state championships. Because if you won a state championship, you understand the sacrifice it takes to win a championship, to win the last game. I call it win-win. There's some guys who win, and some guys who win-win. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so that, 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 that's my thing. Uh, the best predictor of future success is past success. Yeah. Now, last year we had 10 state championships on our team. This year we have eight. For two that stand out in Keontae Johnson and Marquise Noel that were just the heart and soul mm -hmm. of, of that basketball team last year. I know you're thankful for those guys. How do you replace those two? I'm sure the answer is you can't just replace them, but, yeah, but how do you replace their production, if you will? No, I mean, it's not just their production. First of all, there were two All-Americans. Mm -hmm. We were the only school in the country that had two All-Americans mm -hmm. last year. You don't replace that. And, but their experience, their leadership, mm -hmm. you know, I, I actually called uh, Marquise. We FaceTimed him after the first day of Shark Week. And I said, young fella, I, I highly, I didn't appreciate your leadership skills mm -hmm. enough last year. And so, uh, that, that's going to be hard to replace, and uh, we're going to do it collectively. You know, we're, it might it be coming on us as a staff to lead more mm -hmm. and to, to be more vocal, and so we'll, we'll figure it out, though. Coach, I get the impression that you've only been here a little over a year now, but I get the impression you're pretty happy in, Man in Manhattan. Is that fair to say that this is yeah, a place that you want to stick around at? Well, it's about people. Uh -huh. You know, it's, it's always about people. I, I work with the best. Uh, staff in America and, and we don't even call it work we say we live life together mm -hmm. and our wives don't think we get up in the morning and go to work mm -hmm. they think we go and have fun and which is great and that, that's what we're doing we're, we're having a lot of fun doing this this is a, a dream come true for me and there's no way in the world I'm gonna make it miserable for anybody 
Last one. I'll end on a fun one. A lot of the freshmen got your phone number now. Have you been having to give rides home from Aggieville lately, or <laughs> have they been hitting you up, or what? No, no Aggieville rides home, but uh, a couple uh, opportunities to go ride the bull, okay. the mechanical bull. <laughs> okay. I, I wasn't in town, so I wasn't able to do that, but I may do that tonight. Soon. Oh, tonight, okay. Yeah, tonight I may be able to do that. and. Uh, and then a, a lot of, I can't believe it was your number. <laughs> they didn't believe of, it, yeah. yeah, so, yeah. So that was a lot of fun. Okay, we'll have to see if Jareem gets on the Instagram Live if you're on that bowl. I'll make sure he's there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, Coach, thanks for your time, man. I no problem. It. Thank you. Well, now we have a newer face to introduce mm -hmm. to you all. We're talking Hawks with Henry Greenstein from the Lawrence Journal World. He's in studio as we break down that BYU win right after the break. Honey, what are you doing? What? I just fixed the leaky chimney. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney. We fix leaky chimneys properly. 2023 Country Stampede was a blast, and now is the time to renew tickets and camping for Country Stampede 2024. Call 785-539-2222. That's 785-539-2222. More Country Stampede announcements coming soon. Meaningful relationships built upon trust is a founding principle of the trust company. We help individuals and businesses create tailored financial plans and diversified investment strategies that adapt over time to your unique needs. Because we are independent, we can offer flexibility and creativity that many advisors and trust departments can't. If you aren't sure where to start or you're looking to make a fresh start, contact us today for a free consultation. See that kind gentleman over there? He's fixing my windshield. What happened to your windshield? A rock chipped it, and Topeka Auto Glass is repairing the chip so that I don't have to replace the whole windshield. That had to save you a lot of money. It did. And they called ahead so I knew when they were coming. Finally, a company that cares about my time. Oops. 2023 Country Stampede was a blast, and now is the time to renew tickets and camping for Country Stampede 2024. Call 785-539-2222. That's 785-539-2222. More Country Stampede announcements coming soon. Do you have water damage from storms? Give Certified Fireplace and Chimney a call before the damage gets worse. We'll inspect your chimney inside and out, then we'll make any necessary repairs. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Certified Fireplace and Chimney today. Welcome back to K Nation. We had such a fun time with the KU football game yesterday. We had to bring in a guest to talk about that. Yeah, so we're going to welcome Henry Greenstein from the Lawrence Journal World. First time on K Nation. Henry, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm really happy to be here. Sweet. So as a newer writer to the beat, coming in to a team that has struggled in recent years and is now kind of really finding its footing, what is it like watching this team if you didn't know that it had that background of struggling? Yeah, I mean, you certainly wouldn't know it from seeing them yesterday. I mean, they were effective on both sides of the ball. You know, not for all 60 minutes, but periodically there were flashes of greatness. And certainly it's a really exciting time to be coming in. I mean, there has never been more excitement around KU football in the last 14 years than there is now. Yeah, Yeah. you, you mentioned both sides of the ball. We all knew what the offense could do, but the defense was really special yesterday. We, we were talking about that out here before we started. What did you see from the defensive side of the ball that made them so fun to watch? Yeah, I mean, to some extent, it's it's an interesting game to evaluate from a defensive perspective because, you know, two defensive touchdowns, you don't come by that every day. But on the other hand, did have some trouble stopping the tight end over the middle early. Did have some trouble with some of those deep shots. So certainly there will be some film for Brian Borwin and company to look at and because they're going to need to tune up extensively in those areas ahead of playing Texas. But you can't ask for more in terms of the early game aggression, the speed they had out of the half. And I think the pass rush was pretty good overall, which has been an unexpected strong point this year. A lot of people thought with uh, Lonnie Phelps going to the NFL. Mm -hmm. There wouldn't be a go-to guy, but it seems like everyone is filling in that role to some extent. Yeah. yeah, for the first time, we didn't see a running back score in this game. Yep. Do you think that's kind of a concern, or is it more of a relief that a running back could not score in this game, but the Jayhawks can still, still win? Get the win? I yeah. think exactly what you said, Lainey. I mean, it, first game we saw four different running backs score, mm -hmm. including two on their first carry, so certainly quite a departure. But I don't think anyone would complain about how that game went for the offense in the second half. I think especially you got to be relieved to see Jalen Daniels getting back involved with the running game. You know, they told us after the game that in Nevada they had been trying to keep him healthy, uh, mm -hmm. as Leipold put it. And, you know, I think he ended up with about 54 yards from this game. And 
some really key runs down the stretch, didn't shy away from contact, and that could have been something you were concerned about coming out of the back injury from camp. So, yeah, a big addition back to the offense in that respect. But circling back to your original question, I think they'll be perfectly happy with how the offense closed things out. You know, going into halftime, they had had a couple of rough drives in a row. They had two punts and then kind of ran out of time at, before the half. Not the first game they've done that. And they were able to kind of pick up like nothing had happened after halftime and be really yeah. effective. Okay, coming into the season, there was a consensus like K KU, it wasn't a fluke last year. They're going to be good. But you look at the schedule. You got a tough Illinois team starting yeah. Big 12 play with a tough BYU team. To be sitting here at 4-0, how good does that feel for the Jayhawks? Yeah, I mean, first time in 108 years doing that for back-to-back -back seasons. I've heard that number so many times <laughs> over the last few days, but it's still remarkable. Um, yeah, I think you got to be happy with that. I think Illinois and BYU were definitely games you could have viewed as toss-ups going into the year, especially Illinois. I mean, when they won that one and did so in pretty convincing fashion, yeah. I think that helped a lot of people recalibrate their expectations. And it certainly helps that across the Big 12, some teams that had seemed kind of formidable or underwhelming, you know, like Oklahoma State and Stillwater. Not that KU has a great history of going into Stillwater and doing especially well, but that looks a lot more winnable than it once did. Same with Iowa State and Ames. Those are a couple of road games that maybe you think KU has a good chance in those, whereas it might have been more challenging uh, looking at this, say, in May when I came in. Yeah. Definitely. It's going to be an exciting rest of the season. It's hard to believe it just started. I feel like we've been talking about it quite mm -hmm. a bit. But, Henry, thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. And you guys stick around. There is more K-Nation after the break. Jefferson's is the perfect spot to watch the game. Come try our new loaded Max, or pull up a seat at the bar and match our cold draft beer with our new Mac Burger. Find us at 29th and Wanamaker in Topeka or online at jeffersons.com. Hi, Clay Sherwood here with Frank and Dean, the CEOs of Cube, and they want to make sure you're keeping your pool clear this summer with Bacquasil, a truly chlorine-free solution. Let swims and sweeps keep you cool this summer. At Calm Valley Bank, we're here to greet you with a smile. While the trend may be going less personal in virtual tellers, we have options. Banking online, ATM, mobile app, or in person. We have the same friendly service you've been able to count on for over 150 years. Calm Valley Bank. Trust the strength of the call. Memories are created every day, and those memories can make a house feel like a home. The children's height changing over the years, the hundreds of backyard barbecues, and much to mom's dismay, that time PD unrolled an entire roll of toilet paper. Any agent can help sell a home, but a realtor can do more. Find homes for sale in Northeast Kansas and a Sunflower Association Realtor member that's right for you at sunflowerrealtors.com. Growing the market for Kansas-made E15 is a win-win for Kansans. What's E15? It's fuel with 15% ethanol compared to the usual 10% in regular unleaded. E15 is more affordable, has better performance, and runs cleaner than regular unleaded, meaning Kansas drivers can go further for less. From helping Kansas farm families by stabilizing grain prices, helping Kansas become more energy independent, and adding more than 4,000 jobs in Kansas, more of our money stays right here at home because of ethanol. Visit fueledbykansas.com to find a station near you. Jefferson's is the perfect spot to watch the game. Come try our new loaded Max, or pull up a seat at the bar and match our cold draft beer with our new Mac Burger. Find us at 29th and Wanamaker in Topeka or online at jeffersons.com. This was the dance that uh, Travis Kelsey did after scoring a touchdown. For Taylor Swift. For Taylor Swift. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Kaysa and Kay, you both <laughs> covered against their first Big 12 opponents. Hope you're not planning to put money on the Cats this week because they do have a bye week. Yeah, so if you see a line for a game this week, that don't is bad. Yeah, don't but you it. can <laughs> still bet on the Jayhawks. Vegas has KU at plus 17 against Texas on Saturday, and that game is in Austin. So as long as the Jayhawks can win or at least lose by less than 17, you're cashing in. 4-0 <laughs> versus 4-0. Texas number three team in the nation right now. That's going to be tough, but... Should be a fun test. Definitely. It's, yeah. a, it's a good line to have for that. And we all know what happened in Texas a few years back. Haven't forgotten. A real staple of the Lance Leipold era. As long as Jared Casey's there, it'll If happen. Jared Casey's <laughs> there, then, then I have faith that something fun can happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's all the time we have on K Nation. Thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next Sunday. Have a good night.
Honestly, as long as we win the win the game, it doesn't really matter what the statistics are offensively, rushing, passing, touchdowns. If we're able to have one more point than them and get that win, that's all that matters. The crowd's always electric when they're at home. You know, they play such such a huge role. I don't I don't think they truly understand how important they are to our team.